Hello everyone. Welcome back. It's Christina. I'm so glad you took the time to join me today. I am going to do a planner flip through for you. Um, really evolving already this beautiful standard TN. Um, this is a Moterm. Um, I'm just really liking it. I didn't think that I would, to be quite honest. <laughs> I didn't think I was going to be able to stick with it. Um, but it's, it's really cool. And I, I came from an A5 rings Moterm, which is ginormous. And, you know, I'm kind of a little bit missing it, but I'm thinking that some of the things that I'm missing about it, I think I can kind of incorporate in here. So I'm going to kind of talk to you guys a little bit about that as well, but I want to show you my setup and kind of how things are going and uh, how I'm using it. So let's get going. Okay, so let's get started. I think everything's protected here. Um, I am actually using it as a wallet. Um, trying to also pare down my, my purse. And being winter here in Anchorage, Alaska, um, you know, you usually have gloves or, you know, stuff that ends up in your, in your purse that you, you know, you need the space for. And so that's one thing less that I have to carry is the, is, you know, a separate wallet. So I'm going to try it out. I haven't been anywhere to pay for anything yet, but we'll see how that goes. Um, in here, uh, in the zipper part, I'm not going to open it. It does have uh, mine and one of my daughter's vaccination cards. And then it also has some cash in the zipper part. I don't have any coins in here, but you would have the ability to carry some if you wanted to, you know, have a little bit of whatever. Um, I've added a little bit um, to the outside of um, some of the inserts. So this is one of them that I did just a kind of a collage mess of coffee cups. And this book um, is a Mo term. I'm pretty sure it's a Mo term insert, and it's just lined paper. And what I did um, is I I like to tear pages of um, books that are falling apart and put them in here, um, just to kind of I'm starting to add those layers and that dimension and texture and depth that I enjoy. Um, and so I just did a little bit, um, not a whole lot yet. I also use vellum, I use tissue paper, um, all sorts of things. And what this insert is for is pretty much a brain dump notes, you know, I need to think in this space book. That's what that's for. Um, I do have a pen loop on here and um, a Tombow marker, 520. Six, I think that's what that says. Um, this insert is from Paper Penguin Co. It is a Tomio River paper lined. I'm pretty sure 80 pages. I'm pretty sure. Um, and then this is my weekly and daily page book for December. Okay. So last month I ended up putting a monthly calendar in the middle dead center in the middle and I didn't use that. So this time I have uh, made it Christmassy and also um, I'm going to, I haven't laid out my week yet, but I'm going to, I'm going to do better at taking some pictures of my actual pages. Um, and so I'll kind of show you more about how that weekly is looking, but I did order these and I will, I will link those in the description box below. Um, it's for the whole month of December and I really like them. Um, and I, I'm doing uh, two pages for one day. Most of the time I have my schedule over here and then tasks over here. And sometimes I kind of journal at the bottom of this schedule part. I just wheeled over and kind of grabbed um, I 
right this is kind of what it looks like but what I'm doing different that I noticed because when you set up a page like this with home and work what happens is is there's this space and here's this space so I think I'm going to use a very simple color code using the dot markers and um do like home I don't know if I'm going to do home or just do like personal maybe home maybe I should do home because I we're working on a lot of projects right now so maybe I'll do home homeschool work and everything else will just not have a color code do you see what I mean like I don't need a color code if I'm going to take a shower do you know what I'm saying so or like eat lunch or whatever it is you know what I mean so I think I'm going to have like three, four colors and I'm going to try to do that. I started doing that. Let me see right here. And, um, I thought, okay, I'll just leave some space next to it and just put the dot because I don't want that to deter me from putting the actual, um, task down. Do you see what I'm saying? So I want to make sure that I do that. Um, in a way that doesn't, you know, keep me from writing. Um, but basically I just added a few little stickers. Um, the one thing that I haven't done yet is I'm going to be watercoloring backgrounds in here for this, for sure. Um, and probably, and probably this book as well. Um, but what I like about the watercolor or even the acrylic paint is that it allows you, it doesn't take up space. It's a layer that doesn't take up space. So you can still write on all of this and it won't, it doesn't matter. Just write over the top of it. It's fine. I use a ballpoint pen. Some of you other, you know, some of you out there may be using gel or fountain pen or something like that. And it may not work. I don't know the answer to that, but I just use a ballpoint pen and I use Tombow's and whatever. I mean, it's not going to work with a pencil. You see what I'm saying? But whatever that I like it because I can write on top of it stickers washi tape things like that take up space and that's just the truth of it so I labeled all of my pages so that if I do know something I haven't written any you know that schedule line basically um I haven't written that in yet but I'm going to do that and then um I, you know, if something comes up or things like that, I can go ahead and add it in here, you know, and then I left to have a full spread. Oh, wait, I also do Saturday and Sunday together. It should be right here. Saturday on one page, Sunday on one page. And then this is my weekly. And I might be able to find one in this book. One second here of how I kind of had it set up but I need to figure out what the problem is of why I'm not using it. When I, when I have it set up, I don't use it. And when I don't have it set up, then I want it. It's really stupid, but that's the way it is. So here I just did the days and then I did AM and PM, but I want to combine that into just one block and then um, have like a Dave column possibly and a dinner column. And then this first block, this AM and PM that will become one block is kind of just like a recap, like what happened today? Like, you know, oh, we just at home or, you know, maybe Alex lost a tooth or Tony did something cute or whatever that I just kind of wanted to, you know, highlight for the day. Kind of like, that's what it is, a highlight for the day. So I'm still working on that, but I'm leaving the space for it. So then the tab right here is all the pages that I will have left after I've labeled all my December dailies and weeklies this is where I'm at so I want to make sure that if I'm making a quick list that I don't want it to be in my planner long term or like past December then I can just use this space um, if it's past December then I'll, I'll put it in here so there's that one and there's some more scrapbook paper. And then this one is also um, the same thing. And this one is going to be for my 24 plan. 
So I need to do um, video outlines, blog post notes, outlines, um, social media notes, graphic, you know, ideas, like all of that type of stuff. So I need to start labeling it. So I have some color down. I have some stickers down. And so what I need to do is set this up. If you set up your pages, you're way more likely to use them. So that brings me to um, a, a idea that I want to throw out. Um, weekly planning membership group. Um, I posted something about that on Instagram. If you don't follow me there, my um, handle and link are in the description box below. So my idea for it is to have it be more like a workshop style where you come and you plan for your week. You may not be able to do every single thing during the workshop, but you could get a lot of things done. You could also brainstorm with us um, some solutions to some challenges you may be facing. You can talk about your planner system and that it will be a topic of discussion. Um, we could also have various concepts that we d discuss about our planner system and have it on a little bit more of um, a structured, you know, so you'll know that it's coming kind of thing. Um, I just find that when, if I don't plan, pre-plan my week, I have a crap week, man. Like that's just the truth. And I don't want to have that. I don't want to have blank pages in my planner. Even if I'm having to record after the fact of something in my life happens where I'm just like, like over this Thanksgiving holiday, we were kind of busy because we um, basically played musical rooms in our house. <laughs> and so we had a lot of stuff that we were moving. But that evening, I wanted to sit down with my planner and write it all down. What happened? Reflect on the day before the next day gets here, right? At least do that at a bare minimum, right? But really what needs to happen is we need to pre-plan our week and say, you know what, this is what I want to do on this day. This is what I want to do on that day. The, some people can function by having a weekly um, to-do list. Oh, I'm going to do that sometime this week. I'm way more likely to actually do it if it's on the day. I am even have a higher chance of accomplishing the task if I put it in an hour block or a time block of some kind on my schedule. That's where I want to be. I want to take a step forward each and every single day of my life. Does it, that doesn't mean you have to be productive every single day, but we are needing to accomplish things. We are needing that in our, in our soul. Okay. So if that sounds like something that's a little bit of interest to you, I want you to message me or comment below something, get me a, I need your email address at a, you know, bare minimum email address. And I can send you more information about this, this group that's going to be starting. Um, and I just want it to be us doing what works for us. And that's the pure beauty of planning is that we are all unique and we all do it in our own way, but there are concepts and processes that you can implement if you're struggling or if you're struggling in certain areas. You may be trying out different weekly layouts and different things like that of how you present your information to yourself. And those type of things, you know, you discover, hey, this works for me or hey, this will work for me for a while. So I wanted to talk about that because it's important to me. It, it's truly important to me. This is also uh, the last insert here. Ah, oh, crap. Oh no, that's okay. Um, from Paper Penguin Co. Excuse me. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> um, uh, Paper Penguin Co. And it, this was a floral one. Um, and it's a 2021, um, 12 months. And then it has just like a handful of note pages in the back there. I do keep some of the passwords and things that I kind of reach for a lot um, in the back behind there. 
um, things that you would want to keep in here. Like that's what you need to think about, right? That's what you need to think about um, is um, the whole year. What is this insert? This is a whole year. So if you write something in here, you need to think, I'm going to carry this around for the whole year. Whereas this one, okay, I'm going to carry this around for December. This one is until the book is full. So what do I want to put in here? You see what I'm trying to say? So those are the kinds of thought processes I use. Um, here are some other little cards where I get my nails done and um, a doctor's card and things like that, whatever stuff. And then I have post-it notes in there, some passwords, my ideal week schedule, some coupons for Goodwill because I donate to them all the time and stuff. This does have the back pocket and I don't, currently don't have anything in here, but it does have that. Um, I feel like this is a pretty good wallet setup. Like I'm excited about that. And this is a Uniball stretch. Uh, uh, jet stream, excuse me. Um, and it's in 0.7. Um, I usually lean toward 0.5, but I don't know, it kind of flip flop around sometimes. And, um, I like how it fits, you know, the, the Moterm, um, cover will fit this big fat, not smooth. Do you know, I mean, it's smooth, but do you know what I'm saying? Not slick, um, pin. And so I really like that, but I wanted to have one other color. And what kind of started me on that too, I was going to mention this, is that on my schedule, I kind of fill it in. But if something changes, I wanted to have another color that I could just kind of write something out, the other thing that happened in its place um, so that I could see like, hey, you were so, you said you were going to do this, but then this happened. You see what I'm saying? So just for my own records and for my own reflection, um, so I just wanted to share that tidbit with you. Um, this bulldog clip, um, gets moved around. However, I'm using the book. So I just kind of clip it in random places right now. It doesn't have a rhyme or reason. I am using a post-it tab for my today. Um, and then as I, and then this marker with notes, I'm going to go ahead and use my label maker. Here is the one that I have, um, to make a notes tab, but as things, you know, as you reference things over and over again, you know, I will continue adding more of those tabs. Um, so yes, I'm going to continue, um, covering the inserts, um, fronts and backs and the inside as well, just kind of customizing it more. I also may do, um, dashboards, um, and just use like the packing tape, you know, make something and then use the packing tape in the middle. Um, to, you know, put them in. Um, but I think that that part is kind of the fun part and the customizing part of this and just personalizing it. Right. And that's the part that I really, really like that I wanted to add so badly is the dimension to it. So I'm going to be watercoloring. So by the time that you see this again, I will hopefully have that accomplished. And I don't know what I'm doing with my pen. There we go. Um, but yeah, I'm just, I'm just using it, you guys. And I really like it. And there's plenty of space in it. Um, and it's not even terribly expensive to give this a try, this size. Um, I, I will, any Motom cover that I've tried um, has been great. I have um, a traveler's notebook with the string. I have this one that has the snap closure. And, um, I have, uh, two A5 Lux rings. So every a, a pebble. Oh, and I have two, uh, two folios. Yeah. One is croc and one is pebble. The croc is okay. I like the pebble. The pebble's my favorite and all the other ones are pebble as well. But if that's all I have for you guys for right now, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them for me down below. And if you guys are interested in the weekly planning membership group, please contact me so I can get you some further information on that. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.